Well, it's a lot better than like American music about money and drugs and yeah. that kind of stuff. Like this actually has a a meaning to it, a deeper meaning rather than just yeah. surface level. Hi, I'm Megan. That's Logan, and this is Spouse Reacts. <laughs> Nailed it. Um, today, we are doing the highly requested Nightwish story time. For some reason, when he said, Hi, I'm Megan, it reminded me after Jimmy Neutron. When that, Hi, I'm Paul. Hi, I'm Paul. <laughs> that took me back to being 10 years old. <laughs> I'm Paul. Uh, I'm not Paul, but... You're Megan. I'm Megan. Yeah, so I did a poll on uh, YouTube, and I had three songs, and we had like close to 400 votes, and an overwhelming amount of people wanted us to do story time. Surprise, surprise. And all in the comments, everybody was like, I think they're ready for a story. So, all right, we've been chosen. <laughs> so, like every other song, I haven't, especially Not Wish and all that, I, I haven't heard this song. If it's anything like Romanticide, I'm, I'm super pumped for it. If it's anything like Ghost Love Score, Ghost Love Score, I'm not pumped, so... But it looks like it's only a five-minute song, so my American attention span will stay. I don't know. I like the Ghost Love score more. Well, you've listened to it several times since, and you... I did. You like it. Yeah. You just true. like the sy symphony part of it. I do, yeah. All right, well, good job on the intro. Thank you. I made an A in my public speaking class several years ago. Hey! I was giving you a thumbs up. Just wait till the outro. Oh, no. All right, you ready? <laughs> yes. This is not Wish. The song is called Story Time. I think it's time for a little story. Oh, that's why they did that. <laughs> it's definitely story time.
everybody recommended that Ghost Love song. When, wow, that one was good. Yeah, that was really good. Wow. Good call, guys. Man. Yeah, great, great call. That had so much going on, but in a good way. You know, some songs, I'm like, ooh, there's so much going on. Like that like, Slipknot song? Yeah. Too much. Mm-hmm. This. That was, that's cool. You liked it? Just like the different instruments that they brought in and how mm-hmm. she would sing and then kind of go into like this opera. Man. Yeah, her opera voice is crazy. She's got a high register. It is really just astounding that that's live. That's live, uh huh. That's that's like hard to get my mind around. Flawless. That was a story time from the Showtime Story Time. Must be one of the, one of those concerts they do. So, so what do you think? I really liked it. You liked it? Yeah, that's. I'm gonna say that's my favorite of them so far. Really? Yeah. That one's really good. I like Romanticide still just because it's got that hard like. It's heavier than this. Yeah. Really cool beat. Really catchy. Um, they need to get this lady to be in a musical. She probably could. I mean, that's kind of what her songs are. Like, with like the, gosh, my words are failing me. Like how dramatic they are and she's telling stories. Mm-hmm. Like, Yeah, if you go to their concerts, it's like a whole like story for lack of better words you know like yeah it takes you through it takes you you know it's not like sitting at a regular concert it's yeah. like it's got yeah you know, it's late i can't <laughs> find my words either <laughs> it's been a long week yeah man that is so good um i really like how it's heavy but it has more than just electric guitar and drums mm-hmm. those are good instruments yeah, it's There's got like so many others. Piano, it's got the organ. It sounds like it's got cellos and yeah, like the the bass, like trombone, sound or not trombone, like tuba sounds and stuff. That I was really cool. That, but that's cool. All I right, like it. So what what score would you give it? I'm gonna give it a five. That was good. Wow, really? And a five? How, that was a five and a half minute song. I get it. It didn't feel like five minutes. <laughs> when it's good, it it long is good. Not that the other one was bad. Like I said, watching it again, it, yeah. got, it got better, or listening to it again. Um, yeah, that was really, that so was fun five. to listen to. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a good cleaning the house song. Yeah, I really liked it. I'd probably give it a nine. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. I'm, My scale is out of five. His yeah. scale's out of ten. It sounds like a... Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's five out of five. Yes. I like that a lot. Her scale was all over the place, so she shortened it. Yeah. <laughs> but the only reason I don't give it a 10 is because I'm not sold on the whole symphonic metal yet. Yeah. It's still, it's still odd to me. Sure. Um, I really like it. Her voice is great. The music's great. It's just like you were saying, the, the cellos and the, the organ and all that. I'm not sold because I'm, I'm used to listening to just like Pantera and Machine Head and Slayer. and yeah. They're just straight guitar, straight bass, and drums. Do you think that the lyrics are kind of, like, what do you think about the lyrics? Oh, it's, it's great. Yeah, the lyrics are great. And they're great musicians. It's just, I don't, I'm not sold on the whole See, I thought the lyrics part. would be what would turn you off. Because, like, the heavy metal that you listen to is very, like, ah, oh, set you on fire. I'm so mad. <laughs> but, you know, these stories. And this is, it's mm-hmm. very... You know, talking about Peter Pan, and it mentioned yeah. Alice, and mm-hmm. which, of course, I love. Um, yeah, it's your favorite movie. Well, it's a lot yeah. better than, like, American music about money and drugs and yeah. that kind of stuff. Like, this actually has a a meaning to it, a deeper meaning, rather than just yeah. surface level. So It's really good. We didn't watch the video with that, um, except for just a few seconds at yeah, the end Yeah, we there. just did the lyrics. They have so much energy. <laughs> yeah, they do. I'm sure that's a big crowd. I know that last one we did, not the last one, but the Ghost Love score, they said there was 80,000 people there or something like that, Gosh. I think. So, But yeah, that was Story Time by Not Wish. Very good. That's some, I don't know, it is so unique. I'm glad the people pointed this she out there. She is so good. That's like this song especially. Flory Ensign, she's so good. That's the... Uh, we still need to look up the best best singer 
that she did where she did shallows and she was in that competition. Oh, oh the singer. Yeah. 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 Still need to check that out. This is a really, really good, good bridge though between the music that I like and the music you like. It's it's getting me there. All right. You start listening to this and you go on to heavier stuff and then heavier. Yeah. It seems like uh, Not Wish is the gateway drug to, <laughs> to heavier stuff. <laughs> well, I, I like that it's not just just mean lyrics. I know, I sound like I'm 85. That's fine. Um, just when it's just yelling and swearing and, you know, this. I like. Okay. I, would, I can listen to this with our son in the car. Yeah, you could. Yeah, and he'd probably like it. Probably. <laughs> he. Oh yeah, he he loves to head Bob. <laughs> well, good deal. So you give it a five, I give it a nine. That's pretty good. Yes, good suggestion, guys. Yeah, thank you. I'm not um, disappointed because we're almost at two thousand subscribers. That's crazy. We just did this for fun, and it's kind of kind of growing. So that's that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But anyways, thank you for tuning in for another episode of Spouse Reacts. We'll see you on the Wait, next one. Thank you for tuning in to Spouse Reacts. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>